Have you ever wondered why a nearly 20-year-old engine is still commanding the roads, defying time, emission standards, and every new tech trend thrown its way? Well, buckle in, because today we're diving into the Detroit Diesel Series 60. And trust me, this isn't just another engine review. This is the story of how a mechanical beast from the early 2000s is still punching above its weight in 2025. The Detroit 60 Series. If you've spent any time in a rig, you've heard of it. Maybe you've even driven one. Born in the late 80s and refined into the 2000s, this inline-six diesel engine wasn't just a power plant, it was a revolution. Back when other manufacturers were fumbling with emissions systems and electronic controls, Detroit got it right. And in a world constantly pushing for automation and electric everything, there's something gripping about raw, relentless, mechanical mastery. But why are we talking about it now, in 2025? Because here's the plot twist. While the rest of the industry leans into flashy tech and questionable reliability, this engine, yes, this old school giant, is not just surviving, it's thriving. Now hold on. Before you dismiss this as nostalgia-driven hype, consider this. Fleets across the U.S. are still sourcing and swapping Series 60s into newer trucks. They're spending time and money on an engine that's been officially out of production for over a decade. You have to ask yourself, why? Let's break it down. First, reliability. The 14-liter Series 60 is known to cross a million miles without a major rebuild. No, that's not a typo. A million. That's not just durability, that's a legacy. Compared to some newer engines, which often run into DPF and EGR issues before hitting half that mileage, the Series 60 is like that one grandparent who still chops wood every morning. Unstoppable. Second, simplicity. Remember when engines didn't need five sensors to start? When a check engine light didn't require a NASA technician to decode? The Series 60 is from that golden age. Mechanics love it because it doesn't fight back. Less downtime, fewer mystery codes, and fewer shop visits that end with a five-figure invoice. But don't take my word for it. Look around. Owner operators, rebuild shops, and even small fleets are chasing after used Series 60s like they're rare collectibles. Because in a way, they are. The EPA cracked down hard in the 2010s, and those emissions regulations? They nearly killed off engines like this. So every operational Series 60 today is a bit of a rebellion, rolling proof that power, longevity, and simplicity still have a place on America's highways. Of course, there's a catch. There's always a catch. The supply is shrinking. Good engines are getting harder to find. And rebuild kits? They're going up in price every quarter. So if you're thinking of getting one, or rebuilding yours, you're racing against the clock. That's not a marketing pitch. That's cold reality. Now let me throw a wrench into the conversation. If the Series 60 is so good, why did Detroit stop making it? Here's where it gets interesting. Emissions, politics, and a shift in the industry. Detroit didn't have a choice. The Series 60 couldn't meet the ever-tightening EPA regulations without massive redesigns, and rather than butcher the core design, Detroit moved on. But the demand never really disappeared. And in today's economy, where repair bills are spiraling and parts are becoming proprietary nightmares, many truckers are looking backward to the engines that worked instead of the ones that constantly need work. So, what now? Do you double down on your Series 60 and ride it into the next decade? Or do you roll the dice with something newer, flashier, and riskier? Here's the real question. If you had one shot to build a fleet that could survive fuel costs, government mandates, and brutal miles, would you bet on an app-controlled, sensor-laden experiment or a legend with diesel in its DNA? I'll leave you with this. The Detroit 60 Series may not be the future of trucking, but it just might be the last great engine of its kind. And in a world racing toward electric everything, maybe, just maybe, that's exactly what makes it worth holding on to. Subscribe, because in the next video, we're taking you inside a freshly rebuilt Series 60 from a top Midwest shop and you'll want to see what they found hiding in the cylinders.